Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. We're going to talk about the statement released by the Queen regarding the accusations of racism in the royal family. So just to remind you, Meghan Markle said that there was a conversation with Prince Harry and also with her at different time during their relationship regarding the color that baby Archie would have when he was born. And she said there was a concern. There was a concern about that. So now she issued a statement to say where she stands. And this is what the statement says. She said, the whole family is saddened to learn the full extent of how challenging the last few years have been for Harry and Meghan. The issue raised, particularly that of race, are concerning. While some recollection may vary, they are taken very seriously and will be addressed by the family privately. Harry and Meghan and Archie will always be much loved family members. So this is the statement that they say. I'm going to try to analyze that. The first part says that they're very sad to hear that they've had a hard time in the royal family, which is a bit strange because Harry and Meghan say that they try to reach out to many people in the royal family to let them know that they were having issues and even Meghan Markle needed help. So I think it's quite odd that she's saying that she's saddened to hear that when Meghan Markle said she contacted people to let them know that things were not right. So is she saying that Meghan is lying? They didn't know about it. Anywho, the second part is where she said that while recollection varies, talking about the racism bits. So this kind of cast doubts on what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry say they have experienced. They might have spoken to someone and someone said that they don't remember that particular incident or the way it was described by the Sussexes or that doesn't match his or her recollection. So they say that they don't think that it happened the way Meghan Markle and Prince Harry said it happened. I think it's a bit strange. I think they should have more specific what didn't happen, who said what. I think it's a cop out. I think that they should have empathized a little bit more. They should have said something like, we're very sad to hear that they've experienced something negative in the royal family and we're working at finding a way to resolve that and confirm everything that happened. Something like that, but not just say while recollection varies. When they say this sentence, it means that they don't believe what Meghan Markle and Prince Harry say. And finally, they say that this affair will remain private. And I don't agree with that also. It's no longer a family affair. It's no longer a family situation. It's no longer a family problem because in the kingdom, you have people who are brown, people who are mixed race and people who are black. So these people, when they heard about that experience that Meghan Markle had, it kind of rang a bell. It kind of touched a string. So they empathized with Meghan Markle. They identified with her having gone through that during their life. So the queen needs to be more specific on how they will deal with that and how it's going to be dealt privately. What I'm saying, it shouldn't be a private matter. It should be dealt publicly. There should be like an inquiry the same way they say that there will be an inquiry for the accusation thrown at Meghan Markle about bullying. People were expecting more from the Queen. We were concerned for what was going on and what she had gone through. So I think that we have the right to know how the Queen will handle it. If she was quick to say that there will be an investigation or an inquiry, then there should be another investigation for a public investigation for what Meghan Markle said she or alleged she suffered when it comes to racism. Finally, she maintained that Meghan and Harry still are a uh, well loved members of the royal family. So this is a, another bland sentence to say, yes, we love them. But we know in reality that because of what they did, because of the interview, they are no love lost. That's my interpretation. I'm not sure how you guys read this or how you reacted when you, uh, when you read this, but I'm kind of disappointed to say the least. So I hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.